guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anne and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix makeup mistakes. So some of you might recognize the eye makeup that I'm wearing right now. Um, today is the day after I filmed with my father. That video is already up on my YouTube channel by the time that you're watching this. But I filmed a video with my father where I did one of my eye uh, creating a cut crease and he had to recreate um, this eye. So this is the finished result and now that I am like done with filming with him, he just left, I realized that um, this is like a really great opportunity for me to film a video where I show how you can fix mistakes. At the beginning when I started creating cut creases, I made a lot of mistakes, um, but ever since I started YouTube, my um, cut crease skills kind of stayed the same, so I never like made major mistakes when it came to my cut crease. So now that my father has done my crease, I feel like there's a lot that I can do to make it look better. So I just wanna show you like how I can make his eye look, look so much better that it looks more like the way I would do it normally. So I don't wanna really like sound like, oh my God, I do it perfect and this is how it should be done. But I just really hope that with a few simple steps that you can add to the eye look he did, that you can make it look so much better. So I'm now going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, I hope this video will be helpful and that you will enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of a dark blue color from the Morphe 35B eye palette. So I'm mainly going to focus right here. I feel like you can really clearly see like the black in my crease and I want that to be blended out. So this already makes a huge difference. The transition is immediately looking a little bit better. So I'm going to apply a little bit more in the inner corner area. Whenever you have problems with like that the black line is too harsh, just use a shade which is slightly lighter and use that to blend it out. So I notice that I do have a lot of fallout. So I have to be careful. Now I'm going to take this palette from Revolution and I'm going to use this light blue color. I'm going to blend that above the crease as well. So now I'm taking some concealer with a very tiny concealer brush and I'm going to kind of expand my cut crease line. When my father created this eye look, I feel like he should have created like the cut crease line a little bit lower. So I am just going on top of the eyeshadow with some concealer. If you like create a cut crease and you made the same mistake that my dad made, um, don't be afraid to go on top of it with some extra concealer. Um, you don't have to worry that it gets weird. You can definitely apply concealer on top of it. Then I'm using this light pink color from the Huda Beauty palette and I will put all the names of the products I use in today's video in the description bar and I'm pressing that in the inner corner area. Then I'm taking this middle shade from that same purple palette from Huda Beauty and pressing that in the middle part of my eyelid using a MAC 242 brush. Then for the next shade I'm taking this more purple kind of pink color and applying it on the middle part of my eyelid as well Softly blending it a bit more towards my outer V area I'm basically using all the same products I also used on my right eye But I'm just trying to fix all the mistakes that my father has made So the products that you see me use right now those are the shades I used for the other eye as well So now I'm taking this dark blue shade again from the Morphe 35B eye palette and blending that a little bit in my outer V area on top of that purple color to make these two shades blend into each other. And to make it even more darker I'm taking this black eyeshadow as well which is in the same Morphe 35B eye palette and blending it a little bit more in my outer V area. Also trying to connect it with the winged liner because I feel like the winged liner definitely doesn't look really great but that's fine I can easily uh, fix this thankfully. So then I'm taking a little bit of gel eyeliner, kind of recreating the line of my wing and trying to make it a little bit larger. This way I can still get that like super fine precise point, even though he already made one which wasn't that precise. But if you like draw it a little bit higher, you can still get the same effect. 
And if that's not possible, you can always go in a little bit with concealer around the edge to make it look extra sharp. So now I went over all the eyeliner to make it look a little bit more black again because some of the eyeshadow that I used on the eyelid fell on the eyeliner and that makes it look a little bit more ashy. So now I'm taking some concealer and going like right underneath that wink liner to make it look really sharp and kind of clean up the eyeshadow that is next to it because it did look a little bit like messy if that makes sense. So then I took this Inglot Cold Pencil in the shade 01 and applying a little bit more in my wad line. When my father did this, I feel like I'm not really blaming him at all, but if you do this on someone else, it can be quite hard to press really hard. So I definitely need a little bit more. Now taking this matte purple color from that Huda Beauty palette, blending a little bit more of that underneath the lower lash line to make it look more smoked out. And then do the same at the other side to kind of make it in balance. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I feel like I really managed to get both sides to look really equal. Um, I, To be honest, when I started, I wasn't really sure if I would be able to make them look like they were just identical. But I think I did a quite great job. And um, yeah, I just hope it was helpful. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to check the video where my father does my cut crease. It's very awkward, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I will put the name, not the name, I will put the link of the video in the description bar uh, so you can check it out. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! I know it's worth it.